what a basketball game. Um, you know, a heck of a game. Two good teams that fought for 40 minutes. Um, I'm, I'm really, really proud of my team because that's a very good basketball team that we beat. Um, they're so good offensively. Uh, they, they spread you out. They can shoot it. Uh, you know, Applebee's really good, you know, off the bounce. Uh, guys inside that shoot a high percentage. Uh, but I thought we were very good offensively. I thought the ball had energy. I thought we learned from the last game as far as we moved the basketball. Um, we didn't settle. Uh, you know, to have 22 assists on 28 made field goals um, is big time. And obviously to be able to hit 18 threes. Uh, I thought we were able to do that because the ball had energy. And these two guys beside me, you know, combined for 14 of them. Um, and then at the end, we were able to get a stop. You know, we were able to get a stop. We knew as a staff, looking at, you know, analytics, Appleby is uh, not as efficient going left. And so we were able to get him going to his left and to force a tough shot. Now, he's an outstanding player, and he makes – big time shots. We were fortunate that he didn't make that one. So we were able to get a stop at the end and uh, come up with a big, big time win. So really, really happy for my team. Craig, is outside shooting, actually for both of you guys, is outside shooting contagious? Like whenever you see a couple go through the net, do you kind of build confidence from that? Uh, oh, I, you said I said both. But, yeah, both. but um, <laughs> I say it is contagious, um, you know, but first start with the ball. The ball is what find the energy to find that good shot. So I feel like once the ball moving the way it was moving tonight, once we find that good shot, no matter who take it or what shot it is, just today it happened to be threes, and it was definitely contagious. Like it seems like that one three one zone that they went to a little bit, like halfway through the second half, gave you guys a little bit of trouble. What we what was giving you trouble with that, and how were you guys able to pull yourselves out of it? Uh, I personally don't remember having trouble. I guess I gotta watch film on it, but um. Uh, yeah, I don't remember having trouble. Greg, when you look at the stat sheet, uh, when when your coach pointed out the 18 three-pointers, you looked at the stat sheet and just made a look of bewilderment, really. What's that mean to you? I mean, that's a program record you guys just set tonight with 18 triples. What's that mean to you to be a part of that? Um, that's big time. Uh, it's something actually me and Blake talk about a lot, is setting the fire alarms off in here. So, uh, And then it finally came to fruition today. Uh, we talk about it all the time. Uh, to finally see it come true, it was big time, and I'm happy we did it with a win. Both for both of you, what does it say about you guys? You guys took and made just two layups in the final 16 minutes and 28 seconds of a game that you won by scoring 81 points. What does that say about the offense that you guys run? The ball can move. I mean, we, we find the best shot. I mean, it don't always got to be a layup, and we're skilled enough to make those shots. So, I mean, thank God they went in and we put the work in to, to, to make those shots. Greg, a lot of your threes tonight came off of assists from either JB or Nelly. I think JB had nine assists tonight, Nelly had six. What's it like when they start penetrating and feeding you? You know, how comfortable are you with that? Um, I'm I'm super comfortable with it. Uh, I feel like it's like I said earlier, the ball gonna find the best shot. That's gonna give us the energy. Uh, when we move in the ball like that, I feel like we're a pretty good, we're a pretty tough team to beat. So honestly, if it won't matter if Blake was going past me the ball. I honestly, passed him one by the way. <laughs> yeah, he made it <laughs> So like it don't it don't really matter who passing as long as the ball moving the right way, it's gonna find energy. As long as pitch for him, good day for me. Question for Greg and Blake. Jamarius really took a back seat in the scoring role today and became a big time facilitator. What's that what's that mean about him? And like can you just talk about how he is as a teammate to really go out of his way to get others involved when they're having a hot hand like that? This team don't got no back seat. It's, it's a whole, it's a whole caravan worth of goodbyes. I'm happy to go along on this ride, and we gonna ride it. There, there is no back seat. We don't see no back seat. Everybody on the car, on the car ride, to have a good road trip. Do you think that an example of that is uh, Fetty having nine rebounds for you guys, and then the only shot you take was the last shot you guys made for the two point win? Ain't no front seat, ain't no back seat. This the driver, and we all in. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would just say it goes to. Just JB as the player, you know, uh, knowing that not every night is going to be your night per se to score the basketball. So you got to find a way to help your team win. That's what winners do. Um, and JB is a winner. So I feel like that's what it came down to him. He seen that his shot wasn't going today, but ours was. So he found ways to get guys involved, and he did that for a full game. How did you guys feel about the, the Zoo's energy tonight when you guys were making those shots? Love, we love y'all, Zoo. We love y'all. Shout love out y'all, boy. Appreciate that. All right. All right. Jeff, 
what can you say about what Wake Forest was doing offensively to keep the pace up and challenge you guys tonight? Well, that's what they do. They play the fastest pace in the league. Uh, they're a very, very good offensive team when you look at their numbers from the field, from three. Um, their assist numbers, uh, and with Appleby leading our league in assists, I mean, they're a really talented basketball team and a really, especially a very good offensive team. Um, I thought in the first half we defended them pretty well. Man, they made some really tough shots. Even in the second half, we're right there on them, and they made some tough shots. They have some guys that can just make, you know, Williamson, Appleby. Um, obviously, Monsanto can really, really shoot. He's a weapon. And so they just, you know, they, they, they put a lot of pressure on your defense because they have a guy that can create off the bounce in Appleby. They have another guy that can create off the bounce in Hildreth. Um, they have two bigs that play their role that are in that dunker spot that are incredibly efficient. Um, I think Marsh was 90% from the field in conference play. Now, I'm not sure I've ever seen that, uh, but he understands who he is. So they put a lot of pressure because of their talent, their spacing, and the things that uh, Steve, you know, allows them to do. And what can you say about your, your team's defensive effort? Because you talked about it after Florida State, like you guys needed to be better. How did you feel like they rose to that challenge tonight? Well, I thought an area where we got better was we didn't allow them making tough shots to demoralize us. We just kept playing. And it helped that we kept scoring. I mean, that, you know, I mean, that really helped and that we made shots. I mean, that was it. You know, the 1-3-1, got us a little bit off balance. So I thought we were in a really good rhythm and they went to that. It got us a little bit off, but even in that, at we got really good looks in it. At times we had some wide open threes that we just missed. I thought when we penetrated the zone and we didn't just stand out, I thought we did a you know very good job of attacking it. Jeff, is this the best night? the ball movement's been since ACC play started? For probably, the yeah. probably. It probably has been. Um, you know, We moved it really well when we played at Northwestern. This is by far the best we shot the ball here, um, and we needed every one of them. Jeff, the other night, I believe it was a 17-4 margin up from your bench, you know, getting outscored. Tonight, 20-20, to evened out there. What can you say about the contributions from Nike and Nate and, and, and the Twins? Well, we need those guys, and we need their energy. It necessarily may not mean scoring, but I thought they did some good things defensively. Obviously, they all scored. I thought Jorge came out, gave us some really good minutes, took a big-time charge. Um, I, I, you, we need everyone. We need everyone to come in and give great energy when they're in the game. And those guys from the bench did that. This was another night where Federico, he wasn't huge in terms of scoring, but in terms of limiting Carr and, and the forwards there, really solid defensively, good rebounding effort. Just talk about what he was able to do tonight. Yeah, you know, Fetty's not a scorer yet. That's not where he is with his game. He's not a guy that we're going to throw the ball to and with his back to the basket. Fetty's a guy that's in the dunker spot, lobs, plays off penetration. And then if they switch, you know, maybe we can get it to him then or offensive rebounds. Um, but he does a really good job defending. He does a really good job of ball screen defense. And he's a presence around the basket where he can cause some uh, difficult shots or trying to finish over him. And so he was really, really good for us. You talked about the analytics when it comes to defending Appleby on that final shot, making him go left. How much of that is a call in moment versus how much of that is actually game prep? If you get what I'm getting well, there? I mean, we knew that 85% of his offense was him going right. That's something we talked to our team about as we started going over our preparation for Wake Forest on Monday. And there are little reminders throughout the game. We didn't do a great job, you know, all game, but on that last possession, we did a really good job of it. Our team's up. <laughs> it's very new for me. Very new for me. I, this is probably the first year I've kind of really gotten into it. Are teams defending Burton differently this, like in the past couple games, or are they just kind of more aware since he has been scoring this year? No, no, I don't think they're defending different. I mean, the difference today was that uh, they played more one three one than they have. They've always played it, but they did. I, I haven't seen them play it for extended periods of time. Um, and JB is a guy that's normally getting to the basket, you know, posting and things like that. When they go 1-3-1, three, one, it kind of takes away that. I thought he did a good job of reading things and making the right plays. Uh, how are you planning on carrying the momentum into your game Saturday? Yeah, you know, we, we just, the thing that this team has done a very good job of all year, and we have to continue, is moving on to the next play. So tomorrow, we'll get back, we'll get together to be more of a mental day. We'll go over feedback from this game. We'll show stuff that we did well. 
stuff that we can improve on. And then we'll turn our attention right after that. That's over with. And our, all of our attention then will go to Miami. We know they're very good. We know they beat the heck out of Florida State the other day. They're a very talented team, very good on both sides of the floor. It'll be an unbelievable challenge for us. But by Saturday, we'll be ready. On that last offensive possession, did Blake and Nelly, were they both options to shoot on that one? Yeah, Blake should have shot the ball. He should have shot the ball in that situation. We executed it perfectly. That's a play that, you know, next time he'll shoot it. You know, we got to know that. We got to know the clock in that situation. Um, that was a mistake. But... We didn't allow it to carry over to the next thing. We got to stop it then. There was about a minute 40 left, and you pulled Nelly for Nike, and then Nike committed a foul right away. And you put Nelly right back in. Was the foul the reason for no, that? No, we were going offense defense. Okay. That's what we were doing. We were going offense defense in that situation. Uh, who talked you into uh, somebody up there coaching? No, I mean, I've, I've always looked at it, but I've never really, you know, look, I, I like really look at it now and try to figure things out. and things like that. We have some guys on our staff that are really, really into it and uh, have kind of helped me understand it a little bit better.